What's going on guys? Today, I'm going to show you the different ways that you can style your app in Next.js. I'll cover global styles using Tailwind, CSS modules, and conditional styling. So for global styles, let's say you're in your app and you have a UI folder. Inside that, you can add a file called global.css. And inside this file, you can add any global CSS resets or any global styles you'd like to add here, like the styles for all the links in your app, for example. So you can do something like margin zero, box sizing, border box, or whatever you'd like in here. And this is also where you'd add your tailwind directives as well, which I'll show you in a second. And then you can import this global.css file into any area in your app and use it. Although it's best practice to use it in your top level component. And in Next.js, that would be your root layout. So go to the layout.tsx. And then we can import. I'll just say the root and then Sorry, the app, then the UI folder, and the global.css file. Save that, and there you go. Your global styles will be applied. And now let's add Tailwind. So if we go to tailwindcss.com, go to Get Started, brings you to this installation tab, Go to Framework Guides and then Next.js. We're already in our project. But you want to change the directory into your project if you're not already. And then install it with this command. Let me clear this. Paste those in here. And then we want to configure our template paths in the tailwind config file, which should have just been added. And it says you can do this one too if you're using the source directory. I am using the app directory. So the tailwind config file, here's that content. So there's that. And then lastly, you want to add your directives in the global.css file. So you can copy that. And then in our global CSS file, you could put it on top of this, which I guess I'll go ahead and do. So that's still there for reference. And then save that. Then you can start using Tailwind in your application. So let's see. In our UI folder, we have the login form. And so if we want to use, it's already using Tailwind classes here, but yeah, to use Tailwind, you would just, as you may already know, just add a class name. You could do like MX Auto width 24, medium breakpoint, width of 48, something like that. And that's how you would add and use Tailwind. If you want to use CSS modules, you can also use those. CSS modules locally scope CSS by automatically creating a unique class name. This allows you to use the same class name in different files without worrying about collisions. This behavior makes CSS modules a great way to include component level CSS. In production, all CSS module files will be automatically concatenated into many minified and code split CSS files. These CSS files represent hot execution paths in your application, ensuring the minimal amount of CSS is loaded for your application to paint. To use CSS modules, you'll just create a file with a module.css extension. 
So for example, this login form component, which is in our UI folder, we could add another file called login form dot module dot CSS. And then inside here you can make classes and write CSS. So we'll say like a class button and you know with a hundred pixels, padding, we'll say 20 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And then you would save that and then inside your login form component you could import styles or sometimes you'll see import classes from the login form dot module dot CSS that we just created and then let's say in this login button you could do class name equals styles which we just imported and then button except you don't use quotes here because <laughs> we're using JavaScript and it would be styles and then the button class that we just created save that and that style would be applied to that button and now lastly I'll show you conditional styling and for that you can use this very small library that makes it much easier it's this CLSX library and I will show you how to use it but we will just install that into our app So suppose that you want to create an invoice status component which accepts a status property and the status can be pending or paid. If it's paid you want the color to be green and if it's pending you want the color to be gray. You can use CLSX to conditionally apply the classes. Let's go to invoices, go to status, so you want to conditionally render this span here. So we'll call that like this and then inside that we can just write any kind of classes we want. And these would be used for any condition. And then we'll also add another argument does an object and this is where we can do the conditional rendering so we'll say background gray 100 text gray 500 that's if the status is equal to pending but then we'll do background green text white if the status is paid. And so this will always return true. I'm getting a red line because we still have to import it. And so this will always return true because it's just a string. So that'll be uh, applied. And then this will be conditionally rendered on whichever one of these is true. So whatever is false will not be applied. And whatever is true will be applied. And so those are some of the different ways that you can style your app in Next.js. Those were global styles, Tailwind, CSS modules, and conditional rendering. I hope this video was helpful. 
If it was, you can hit that like button, you can smash that like button, you can kick that like button, whatever you want to do. Let me know what else you'd like me to cover in Next.js or otherwise, and thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Check it, check it, check it.